Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about the first problem from the latest code forces code turn round 2. So the problem name is 201 sequences. So let us go about that. Aqua Moon has two binary sequences A and B, which consist of only 0, 1 because it is binary sequences. So now Aqua Moon will perform the two operations any number of times on these sequences. Now you can only do this operation, like you have two type of operation, you can do it any number of time. The operations are that you if A contains at least two elements, then you'll change A2. A1 and A2 are the first two elements, like A1 is the first element of the sequence and A2 is the second element. So you will change A2 to the minimum of A1, A2. So you will take the first two elements, whatever is the minimum, you can change A2 to that and remove the first element. Or else you can change it to the maximum element and remove the first element. You will keep on doing this, like uh, you can do this any number of times. Your main objective is to determine that whether A can be converted to B. That's your whole objective. Now, the first thing which exactly comes to my mind is, okay, that I will have to delete out some elements from the start of A. Like it will be like doing some operation, but the elements will be subtracted from A and then we have to reach B. But if the length of A is already smaller than B, in that case, because I want to delete some elements, I cannot reach B in any of the cases. So if A length is strictly less than B, the answer is always no. If it is greater than B, then what will the case? Let us take some examples. There are a lot of examples here. So let us take some of the examples. So A to three lines. So A1, A1. Let us take these examples and copy them out. Bad, bad, my bad. So, let's go them out. Copy. Let us go down to our code editor. Have our. Let us move around it somewhat. Can. Let us solve it out. So the first string is this and this. So these are the two strings that is 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. The next one is 1 and 1. The thing is that the, like, well, the one thing which I also observe is that I have to convert this to this string. How can I do this? I, the operation is that you can choose the first two elements and find out the minimum or maximum of them. Then whatever is left, you will like delete the first element. And then you'll choose the next two elements. Whatever is the minimum or maximum you want to choose, delete the first element. So what you will do is that when you match the first element, like when you match the first element, then it's not to like do the same operation again and again. Why? Because the rest of the numbers still have to meet automatically. What I have tried to do here is, let's say that the string is like this. Okay, this second one, zero and one. The thing is that I want to somehow match the first element because I can only match the first element by this operation because I will take the maximum of them, delete one element, maximum of them or minimum of them, delete the one element. When the first element matches out, if I keep on doing the same thing, I'm deleting out my, like my string and that is wasteless because I want to still match some elements now. I hope you get the point. So the best objective is to match the first element and when I match the first element, rest of the element should automatically match. Because I cannot keep on doing this like process automatically. So I have to first make both of this string equal because in the end I have to make both of the string equal. So what I'll do here is that if I, if I have this string that is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, I want to somehow make it like this, like this will match. So I have to delete out these, like this much of elements from it and then this will match. And when this will match. The first element can only match from all of these elements because I want to delete out all of these elements. And thus what I want to observe is that I can get this element from any one of these elements. So, and the rest of the elements should directly match out because when this element matches out from these elements, the rest of the elements should directly match out because I cannot like keep on moving forward. So the main objective of this problem is that can I match this element with any one of these elements? Because I can take the minimum maximum. By minimum, I can take the zero one. I can maximum if I can take the maximum one. So I can take any one of them if it that number presents here. So the main objective of this problem now boils down to that I will take that whatever string I have, let's say this. I will directly just match it out with the string I want to convert it to. This is let's say A string, this is the B string. Now I want to just match this first elf, like the first character of the new string, B string to all the characters 
in the left direction of this like this if any one of them matches out then i can directly make my first character equal to that because i can let's say i want to make it zero so i will find out the maximum of both of them the minimum then minimum then minimum and minimum whenever i take minimum the zero will transfer because it is zero and then whenever i reach in the last position it will be zero and i will directly match out when i find out the first element matches out now the rest of the elements i should be automatically matched out because the first element is matched and then because if i still keep on doing this operation i will like eventually decrease my string length and then that i don't want and thus what i just have to do is that the string to directly match from the second position to the last position in both the strings from like in this manner and in this manner i just find, find out that, that whether at least like one element exists which is this element like like it should be present in in this part okay if it is present the answer is yes as the answer is that's the overall problem so let us show the code part now i will link the code part in the description so don't worry you can check it out from there as well so if the length is already smaller the answer is already no the first one is matching out from all the n minus 1 to 0 so what i'm trying to match is so this is this length is n this length is m so n minus m is so n minus m will give you this point so from this point to this point so all of this point any one of them should match with this element so from all of this point to, to 0 if anyone matches out to this the answer is true that I will find out when match then it is fine I can make the first element if there is no match the answer is no if I find out the element then I will keep on matching from the next element that, that, that is this first index index equal to 1 from so we have started from n minus m so now I start from n minus m plus 1 from this second element from both of these strings keep on matching in the sum out if they do not match then the answer is no because they have to match out from the first index till the end if they keep on matching out then the answer is yes as the answer is no that if they do not match at any point that's the overall logic and the code part so it is an o of n approach iterating over the whole string from the left to right from the point and from the first point to the left end point and uh, and the second index to the right that's it so it's an o of n approach over the whole string and that's overall logic and the code part for the first problem i hope you understand the logic and the code part of it if you still have you can mention it in the box for this video i will see you in the next one i'll keep coding and bye